If your first never look healthy and blush, then you're probably making these four mistakes that today I'm going to highlight. The last one is the most obvious one people make but rarely notice. So watch till the end. Let's begin. People think ferns are indoor or complete shade plant. Even garden centers sell this plant as a shade loving or low light plant. But it's actually not. Ferns are understory plant which means in nature they grow under the big trees. They still receive bright indirect light or somehow one or two hours of the direct sunlight. So for their vigorous growth, they need a good amount of light exposure. You can keep them in a place where they will receive a whole day bright indirect light or an hour of the very morning mild sunlight and bright light for the rest of the day. Another common mistake people do is that they mist their fern plant in order to increase the humidity in the air. But it also doesn't work at all. Ferns prefer around 70 to 80% humidity in the air to thrive and below 60% humidity can shrivel and dry out their leaves overnight. You can get a humidifier and if you're looking for a good humidifier, then you can try the Levoit humidifier which is the most demanding one for houseplant lovers. I provided the product link in the description box and pin comment. But if you do not want to invest in humidifier then as an alternative, you can keep your fern between the other plants because the evaporated water from the plant and soil creates a humid condition which can be enough for ferns to thrive. Now, before I jump into the next mistake, if you like this video so far, then it will be highly appreciated if you hit the like button and also support this channel by subscribing. Furs are water-loving plant and dear plant lovers always messed up with this concept. Furs are quite finicky in case of watering, like slight dry condition of soil can shrink their leaves within a few hours. On the other hand, ferns grow from rhizomes, which is a tuber-like base, would rot if subjected to a soggy or overwatered situation. So ferns do not like dry soil at all, and at the same time, soggy situations can rot the base. Ferns require moist soil. Let me show you. As you can see, this soil is not saturated. Also, the soil is not completely sticking to this stick, but still enough moist so water where the soil feels nearly dry. Now, to elevate watering issue, you need to avoid the fourth mistake that most of the people do is that they use high peat soil or compact soil because they know fur loves water. Fern like moisture but they never like to sit in soggy, compact or saturated condition. So you need to provide well draining, arable, at the same time good water retentive soil to keep your ferns healthy and bushy. You can try this DIY soil mix recipe, video link in the description box and pin comment. Or you can use Espoma Organic Indoor Plant Soil Mix. Also I have provided the product link in the description box and pin comment. But both soils can hold sufficient moisture and have a good air circulation rate. So that's pretty much it. If you found other mistakes that are responsible to kill ferns, then let us know in the comment section. It will help our community. And also, here is the DIY soil mix recipe. Check that out if you want to give it a try.